Would you love to know how to actually hear the voice of the Spirit? How to hear the voice of the Divine as it speaks instruction to you? See friend, there is a gift that you possess that you don't even realize. And the gift takes some training for it to respond in the way that you might desire. But when you spend the time to train and to work with this gift that I'm telling you you have, you will very quickly hear the prompting and instructions of God inside of your spirit. You will be certain of them. You will be assured of them. And as you begin to follow these promptings, follow the nuances and the still small voice of the spirit, the direction of your life will take a turn in your favor. The winds will start to blow and fill your sails. You will come into unexpected money, relationships, love, prosperity, abundance. The very fabric of your dreams will come true when you know how to hear from God. And today I will teach you in just four steps. If you will make it your work, to practice these four steps every day, you will begin to see results from the day that you start. So come on, let's get it on. Hello Glorious You, welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben, I love you, I'm thankful for you. I'm so glad that you're here with me on the journey of life's great adventure. You're a blessing in my life. Make sure you are subscribed and that we are connected I'm here all of the time encouraging you, and today is no different. I don't want to take a lot of your time, but I want to tell you, friend, I have walked a journey through the seasons that have unfolded in my own life where I have learned to hear the voice of God and follow the instruction of the Spirit. So confident am I in the Spirit's whisper in my own heart that I pay only attention to that. I don't listen to the words of other people I don't listen to what they say I should and shouldn't do. I am so sold out to the voice of the Spirit on the inside that it guides me through my life daily. And it's such a blessing. It is so peaceful. It is so prosperous. It is so anointed. It is so blessed. Because all of the time I find myself in situations that I could never have orchestrated on my own. I find myself in situations of uncommon favor that I could never have set up for myself. I find myself in situations of incredible influence that on my own I could never deserve. And as I reverse engineer these outcomes, they all lead back to exactly the same starting point, And that is the whisper of the spirit on the inside and an act of obedience from myself. You can live in this dynamic too. Very often people will say, God told me this, or I really feel this, or I really sense that. Brilliant! But it's only half of the battle won. Because for as many times as we believe we may have heard from the Spirit, very often we judge that before we act upon it. Don't tell me I'm the only one. Don't look at me like that. I can almost sense it through the video camera. I'm sure that you've had inklings on the inside that there's something you should do. Someone you should call, something you should say, something you should maybe lie down. Something you should change. Something you should develop. You've had those feelings, but we judge them. We don't take a mindful approach. In fact, we heap judgment upon them. We label them and we say, oh, well, that's no, that's just rubbish. That'll never happen. That's no good. Of course, that won't work out. And we never move forward. But in just four steps, you can train your spiritual ear to hear the voice of God and your life will never be the same. All you have to do is pay attention to the voice on the inside. And I've made notes of these steps as they've unfolded in my life so I can honor your time today. But the four steps are simply this. If you've got a pen, write this down. Listen, act, test, reflect. Listen, act, test, reflect. Write that down below. Listen, act, test, reflect. Listen means to actually listen. Sometimes we hear the voice of the Spirit, but we don't actually listen. 
You've got to listen to the still small voice. That means getting yourself out of the busyness of life and putting yourself into a situation where you can listen to the still small voice. And it's not sitting in front of the TV. It's not the movie theater. It's not at the club. It's on your own in quiet time. Focus on your breath. Listen. And then when you hear an instruction, act. Just act upon it. When you're walking down the street and there's a prompting on the inside to slip $20 into the hand of that homeless person, just do it. Don't argue with it. Don't say, well, they made their own bed or that's my last one. No, 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 no. It's not about giving the $20 to somebody. It's about your act of obedience and building a dynamic with the divine where you are in flow with one another. Listen. And when you listen, act. Once you've acted, I want to encourage you to test what it is that was the instruction on the inside of you. This is how you train your ear. See, hearing the voice of God tell you to do something and then doing it, that's only part of the unfolding. You have to test how it went. Because in the testing, you see that, hang on a minute, there was, there was actually some of me in that. There was some... There was some of my ego in that or some of my pride or there was some of my hurt in that. But it's not until you listen and then act, and you look for the results and you test them. Was that the outcome we wanted? Do I feel like my life is moving forward? Do I feel expanded having complied and been obedient? Or has something gone wrong? Do I feel deflated? Did it cause a contraction? Listen. And then just act. Be obedient and compliant immediately. Listen, act, test. How did it go? How did you go? Celebrate your small wins. Because as you listen and then act and then pay attention in the testing, you will begin to reflect upon that little journey, that little season, that little instruction, that little opportunity, that little direction. And when you reflect upon it, what you will see is you walked past someone and the spirit said, give them $20. It was never about them having an extra $20 because you could have judged in your mind and said, they don't need my $20. I need it more than them. But instead, you were compliant and obedient and you recognized that this is about passing the small test. It's not about them needing $20. It's about you being obedient to the voice. So you gave the $20. You were obedient. You went through the test. Now stand back and reflect. How does it feel? Reflect on what has unfolded. Do you feel like you have moved ahead? Because listen to me, friend. When you begin doing this for as many times as you get it right, there will be as many times that you get it wrong. You will reflect and you will think, that didn't work out how I thought it would. That didn't work out like the unfolding plan of God in my life. What went wrong? Reverse engineer the process. What was it that you heard? What was it that was in your heart when you heard it? Test. Test your own motivations. Test your own commitment and reflect on the journey. If you will practice these four steps every day, every day, listen, act, test, reflect, you will build up a body of evidence in your own life to where you will be able to say, that was the moment I heard God and that was the moment I did it. And you will know the difference by how they feel. It's only about getting confident and comfortable in this process. When you know the difference by how they feel, any time you hear the still small voice of the Spirit whispering into your heart, you will know it by how it feels. You won't have to test. You won't have to reflect and reverse engineer because you will know by how it feels. It doesn't matter that this voice inside is telling me to walk into the corner and stand on my head. I know that's the voice of God. I have tested time and time again. I have reflected time and time again. I have listened and acted time and time again. And I know because of what I've been through that that feeling, that's the feeling. When you get to that point, and it doesn't take long, you are divinely led through the seasons of your life. When you get to that point, 
It's like getting onto an expressway after being stuck in traffic. You will wonder why all of your life so far you have wandered around in the wilderness when there was an expressway just waiting for you to get onto it. This is your expressway to dreams fulfilled. You will not get there until you know what the voice of God sounds like and feels like, and then you follow it. If you want to know what it sounds like and feels like, you've got to listen. You then have to act upon it. You then have to test that part of your journey, test the results and reflect upon the season. How did it unfold? This is training your spiritual ear to nestle with the voice of God. So now that you have this information, my question to you is simple. Will you do the work? Tell me in the comments below if you will. I'm going to stand with you as a company of faith, believing this is where your life turns the corner. I love you so much. I'm thankful for you. Come and visit me again real soon.